So today we will see uh, how to create create polynomial polynomial as well as how to create functions in Scilab. So two things we will see. So first of all. I will discuss regarding polynomials. Polynomials. So generally, polynomial is nothing but it has some variables, and in terms of uh, they may have there may be roots also. So for example, if so p is equal to x square x raised to two plus three x plus one three x plus so this is the polynomial. So such type of polynomials can be created using Scilab. So how that can be created? So I will show you. So for creating polynomial, we will have the function that is poly. So we have to use the poly function. In this poly function, we can pass the roots of the polynomial or the coefficients of the polynomial. For example, as I have written x square plus 2x plus 3 so 1 and 2 and 3 are the coefficients so I will show you first of all I will write the poly function for with the roots so if suppose the roots are 2 and 2 and 3 so how to pass that into the poly function so you have to pass this 2 comma 3 in square bracket comma next parameter is you have to specify which variable you want whether x means representation or notation symbolic variable so you can take x y z a b c so if suppose i am taking x and if i am entering or i press enter then this is nothing but a polynomial with 6 minus 5x plus x square so 5x square so where 6, 5 and 1 are the coefficients but we are passing 2 and 3 as the roots. The same polynomial for example I will write this as a P1, P1 is equal to so P1 this polynomial will be saved into P1, P1 is equal to 6 minus 5x, 5x plus x square. So same polynomial can be created by using um, coefficients, coefficients. So in above uh, polynomial, this polynomial, the coefficients are this polynomial, this x square actually. So polynomials are uh, coefficients are one, then minus five and six. So this is one coefficient one. This is minus five and six. So I will write the code for this one. So how it will be written? So you have to use the poly function and pass the coefficient. So it is one minus 5 space 6 you can have the space or comma comma then which variable you want to represent whether x as a symbolic variable comma c specify c for coefficients so now it will be written as a p2 polynomial p2 is equal to see it is nothing but 1 actually 6 means from lower you have to give so this polynomial will be written like this 1 and 6 in lower one first so this is nothing but a polynomial same as p1 p1 is 6 5x plus x square and this is 6 5x square so you have to pass this this is nothing but a coefficient i have passed and in this one i have passed the roots so those are the two uh, ways of creating polynomial so we will have p1 so this is suppose p1 and p2 is also same with this polynomial you can perform operations like addition multiplication division and subtraction so you can perform addition subtraction division and multiplication multiplication 
so how suppose p1 and p2 uh, i will have p2 some other polynomial so poly i will pass roots 3 comma 4 roots i have passed and i am using the x variable for this symbolic variable so p2 is 12 minus 7x plus x square if i want to add as a p3 p3 is equal to p1 plus p2 so i can add the polynomial this is nothing but the addition between 12 plus 6 18 7 plus 5 minus 12 and 2x square means x plus x square so that is the addition of the two polynomials on the same line if suppose p4 is equal to p1 minus p2 you can subtract so minus 6 plus 2x so that is the answer we got similarly p5 is equal to p1 multiplied with p2 so multiplication answer is 72 minus 102x plus 53x square minus 12x cube plus x raised to 4 and p6 is equal to p2 divided by p1 so that is nothing but the division also can be performed with the polynomial so it is minus 4 plus x so x taken from uh, the roots based on the roots as here the roots are 3 4 and earlier this has been root 2 3 so that common root that get cancelled and because of that uh, we have this p6 that is division between p1 p2 is minus 4 plus 6 minus 2 plus x so this is about how we will perform the addition subtraction division and multiplication with the polynomials so i will clear for clearing we can use clc command so it will clear the console now we will have suppose p5 uh, as earlier we have taken p5 so this is the polynomial 72 102 plus this polynomial if i want to find the roots of that polynomial so p5 we have to use the root command root p5 is the polynomial so command is roots actually roots so roots are 4 3 3 and 2 2 so you can find the roots of it so command is roots p5 So once again, I am taking the uh, polynomial P5 with this uh, number 72 minus 100 x plus 53 x square minus 12 x cube and x raised to 4. So I will derivate. So derivate. So command is derivate. Derivate. So P5. I will derivate it. So it will derivate. So this is constant. First value is constant, so that will become zero. 102 x. So it will be x uh, uh, x1 plus 106 53 x into 2 x square minus 6. This is the derivation of p5. So derivation can be found out. If I want there's a p5, I know p5. I want to separate out the coefficient out of it out of this p5 we know that but we can suppose 72 102 so that we can have the command coefficient coefficient so we can pass the polynomial name p5 see all the polynomial coefficients have been separated x having 1 x this x raised to 4 having 1 x raised to 3 having 12 minus 12 x raised to cube having 53 <coughs> and so on So I will clear this. So this is regarding coefficient, how we can separate out the coefficient and derivative of this one. Suppose I want to have the polynomial s is equal to, I want to write this s is equal to, if suppose I am directly writing this as 1 plus x raised to 2 plus x raised to divided by divided by 2 into x square into 
plus 3. So this cannot be created directly polynomial cannot be created this is one such a square so that we have to follow some <coughs> how it can be created so initially define the x variable x is equal to polynomial so it is a variable related to polynomial we can give pass the value as 0 and comma x so it will create a variable x so x is equal to x now variable uh, now if suppose p i want as a polynomial p is equal to direct polynomial if i want 1 plus 2 into x plus 3 into x plus 2 2 or 2 divided by mm, 3 plus 4 into x plus 5 into x plus 2 2 now this polynomial can be created somewhere missing comma multiplication sign multiplication x square 4 x square 5 x square also yeah now this is the polynomial created but for a direct creation of the polynomial initially the variable whichever variable you are using that should be represented as a poly polynomial function and say 0 comma that value so the same value you can have if suppose we are taking s variable as s s so s will be s x will be s so based on that it will be in terms of s so 2s plus 1 so you have to map this variable with the polynomial variable this is about the polynomial we have seen we can add the polynomial we have subtract the polynomial we can find the root of the polynomial now if suppose p is this is the polynomial we have and i want to separate out numerator and denominator of this polynomial then function is numerator r of p so it will separate out numerator p is numerator this is numerator and it is separated suppose denominator denom, denominator of p so it is separated denominator 3 plus 4x plus 5x so such type of operations can be performed on the polynomial so you can have that all polynomial related operations here we have seen here we have seen the polynomial how to create poly polynomial um, arithmetic operations arithmetic operations then we have uh, uh, we have seen how to find the root of this how to derivate derivation or derivative then uh, direct polynomial polynomial writing then we have seen separation of numerator and denominator so that many operations we have 